Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv and last night we see the draw for the 2018 William Hill World Dance Championships live on Sky. What did you think? I know there was a few that come out and I thought, yes, I'm looking forward to these ones. Especially have my eye on Mr. Taylor. Obviously we've been in his last Worlds now. I'm gonna go back to who he's got in a minute because there's five games that not stand out. For, well, they do stand out, which is why I'm gonna discuss them. But these are the ones that I wanna run through out of all these. Obviously there's so many there. I can't cover all of them in this video. So I thought that I would go through these particular five games and see what you think. Um, <laughs> it looks to me as that's going to be a cracking first round. So obviously I want to cover MVG being the current world champion and his draw. Obviously he pulled out a fellow Dutchman, Christian Kist. I think for MVG this is a great draw. Kist is really struggling. We all know that he's got really, really bad arthritis at the moment and he is struggling to play at his best. And I feel so sorry for him because I think when he moved over from the PDC, from the from the BDO after becoming world champion he had he had a really great future I hope that he can sort these issues out and get back to where he was when he first moved over so I think this particular draw here um, Van Gogh and I heard him on Sky Sports last night as he phoned in I think he is really chuffed with this and it's, it's a good first round draw for him so I think he'll go on to win that one then we all want to speak about Mincha Sulevich and Kevin Payne. And I want to speak about that for two reasons. The first reason is, is because it's nice to see Kevin Painter back. Now, another reason for that is because, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I am a Suffolk boy and a massive Ipswich Town fan. And I know that Kevin Painter is a local guy and also a massive Ipswich Town fan. So that him being local and an Ipswich Town fan, I like to support, so a huge thumbs up for Kevin Painter. I hope that he does really well. It's difficult because I do like Minster Sulevich lots and think that he probably will have too much for Painter, but it's a little standout one for me um, and it'll be a good battle. And do you know what, you know, Painter is going to have his chances to get through that if he can play okay. And obviously with it being... Um, an opportunity to kickstart his career again. Let's let's hope that he goes through. So a thumbs up from me, Kevin Painter, on this one. Next, I want to go through. It's another Dutch rivalry. We've got um, Yellow Class has pulled out Jan Decker. Jan Decker played the best I've ever seen him perform at the weekend um, at the Players Championship against MVG, losing only ten or eleven seven something like that. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. I hadn't seen that side of Decker's game before, so it just shows that he really can play. Yellow Klassen, obviously, um, he's playing okay at the moment, but before the weekend, I would have been saying, do you know what, Yellow Klassen is definitely gonna beat Jan Decker, but with Jan Decker coming out, with that performance, I've got a feeling that Yellow's gonna be sitting there thinking, this is a bad draw, this is a bad draw for me, especially when you wanna, you know, at, at the Worlds. That's the one tournament that everybody wanna do really well. So I think, mm, yeah, I don't think he'll be happy with that one. Tough draw for both of them. Next I want to cover, Stephen Bunt and the Bullet. He must be rubbing his head because this guy doesn't seem to have that much luck. He's now pulled out Dimitri Vandenberg, who's just won the, the World Youth Championship with, with an awesome display. He played not long back in the tournaments. He's hitting averages of hundreds. He's beaten Barney recently. He's beaten God knows who. He's got no fear of anybody. Bunton must be thinking, you know, what have I done? What have I done? He keep getting all these draws where it's just it's just so bloody difficult for him. I wouldn't like to say who the winner is going to be for that one, but Bunton, I feel sorry for you, mate. That's a really, really bad one. And last but not least, Mr. Field of Power Taylor has got Chris Doby. Taylor will be thinking that is not a good draw for his last Worlds. It's a tournament that Taylor wants to go out on a high on. There were so many other people in this draw from the prelim rounds that he might have got, um, and players, not to the standard of Chris Doby. Yes, Chris Doby has not had the best couple of years, but do you know what? He did well okay at the weekends in the um, Players' Championship at Minehead. He only went out to Gurney in the last eight, I think. So Doby has got it. Taylor is going to have extra pressure to what he normally has because he, he knows this is his last shot. This is his, If he goes out in round one, is Phil the power Taylor going to want to go out thinking, uh, all I've done throughout my career, go out, he, would, he needs to go out on a bang, not go out in the first round, because he will always be remembered that way. 
If Taylor loses in the first round to Doby, he will be remembered for retiring going out in the first round. He needs to go deep into the tournament. Taylor's not going to like this draw. I think it's a tricky one for him. What do you guys think? What do you think of a draw? Who is your standout game? Leave your comments below. As always, I'll get back to you and let's talk about who we think could go further. You know, is there a really, really bad draw for somebody? Who, who do you think is going to be that standout match for round one? Who's going to go deep into the tournament? Leave your comments below. I'll get back to you. Um, so there's the final look at the um, first round draw there for the World Starts Championship. I want to thank you as always for joining me in this video. If you like it, leave a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share to Eddie, share with others. And check out www.danceplanet.tv because my feed is bringing in already the latest World Championship videos for you guys to watch. So I'm going to catch you in my next video. See you for now. Bye.